think we'll start this out with the tap. Hey, what the hell we're changing is you're going to have a tap. Oh, you're grabbed by the function. Oh, yeah, right. we might be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we're funny, but not always a tap. We're going to drop it. Oh, that's a good tap. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good tap. You have to clap for me first. If I was able to clap without moving my hands, would you laugh? <laughs> <laughs> that was a case of imitation. <laughs> New response unlearned. You're recording right now. <laughs> sure, of course. All right, here we go. <laughs> I. Honestly, I have no idea why I'm sitting in this position. Probably because I'm as confused as you are, because this is not the first time we've recorded this video, which I've given this lecture, I don't know, maybe 150 times, 200 times. I've never screwed it up until I put myself behind a camera. And then I completely buggered it and buggered it more than once. So um, we're here to tell you that it's not going to get buggered this time. So, And I know that. I'm going to beat this into you because I brought a hammer. I often don't leave the house without a hammer. This is an interesting hammer. Um, sorry, I, I, I really had, it says proud to say made in U.S. I'm like, I'm proud to say that I didn't leave the house without a hammer. I don't know. Uh, folks, I'm, I'm showing you the hammer for a particular reason because I'm talking about stimulus equivalents, all right? Um, and so this would be a hammer, <laughs> I mean, right? Um, so if I showed you this, and <coughs> we were trying to demonstrate um, I don't know, reflexivity, right? So that's the most simple form of stimulus equivalence training. So we got a hammer, and I show a picture, a series of pictures on the wall over there. Um, so I don't know, pick the one that's a hammer. And if you correctly pick it without me training you, so I just show you this and you pick the hammer out of that list, um, the, of that list of images, then congratulations, you have reflexivity. A equals A, hammer, hammer, right? You picked the hammer, congratulations, well done. So that's really simple. Let's go for symmetry, right? This time I'm going to try to set this up over here. Here, gravity works better when you... Anyway, physics. This is not a physics class. I apologize. Um, so now we have a hammer, but we're going to make A equal B. Okay, so if, I, um, have, if, I, if I'm demonstrating um, symmetry, then when I show you a hammer and I show you a list of written words, okay? Um, so when I show you that list of written words, you will choose the word hammer out of the list, okay? Now, that's kind of the initial part to test whether or not you've actually developed it. You flip everything around, you hang this up here, and I show you the word over here, right? Um, so I show you the word hammer, and hopefully you'll choose the hammer from the list, okay? Um, so that would be um, symmetry. So the last one of stimulus equivalence um, has to do with, well, not has to do with, it is uh, transitivity. This is A equals B and B equals C, therefore A equals C. Isn't that the way it's always taught in class? Just you read A equals B, B equals C, A equals C, and you didn't test it, and hey, life's good, you have transitivity. Um, well, we're going to do a little bit better of an example here. So hammer, okay, that's our stimulus, all right? So we're going to focus on stimulus. I'm going to connect this with the written word hammer, okay? Uh, and when I connect this with the written word hammer, then I'm going to take this away and I'm going to put the written word hammer here. And then I'm going to have, a, actually no, yeah, that'll work, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so the written word hammer is here. Now I'm going to have three audio files, blah, um, say, I don't know, I, whatever they are, one of those audio files will say the word hammer, okay? So now you can connect the written word to the spoken word. Right? Now the question is, if I show you this, and then you have the list of spoken words up here, um, will you actually choose the one that says hammer? Because I never connected this physical object right, with the spoken word hammer um, when you're trying to train someone. I did the written word and so on and so forth. Um, so we can play with this around a little bit, uh, but the, the idea then would be flip it back around and go present the, the audio and see if you can eventually choose um, the hammer out of the list of words. So, transitivity. Um, so that would be your basics on what you call it? What is this? What are we? I, this is why I, I always forget what stimulus equivalence. So, whew, made it <sighs> without a cut. All right. So stimulus equivalence. Um, we can talk about match to sample procedures and develop the training around all this stuff. But really, we're just talking about the different types of discriminations and generalizations. Um, we're really talking specifically about stimulus. Uh, you know, special cases of stimulus control. So, I don't know what else we need to go over here. Um, is that it? 
ました。